<laughs> Hi sewing fam, I'm Mari and today I'm going to be sharing with you the journey that the Project Dresser Girl dresses that you all made and sent to me. <laughs> well, I'm going to be sharing with you how they moved on to the next stage in this entire process. As you all know, in September, we all got together as a big old sewing family that we are to sew dresses for little girls that are living in extreme poverty around the world. And that's here domestically and everywhere else. In fact, we made 2,363 dresses for donation. And here in my home, I received 1,543. 1,543 dresses, you all. <laughs> We're gonna need help next year. Now all of these dresses have actually moved on to the next stage. And let me tell you, I sent about 25 dresses up to Canada for Ukrainian refugees who are currently living there. And actually, what I did was I went through all of the dresses that you all sent me and pulled out the warmest of those dresses. So that included dresses that had long sleeves on them, um, any dresses that were sent in with long t-shirts um, underneath, those all went to Canada, including any of the dresses that used really warm fabrics like denim or corduroy. I also sent in the big box a bunch of socks that were donated along with tights and other things to keep these little girls warm. So all of that was sent up to Practical Stitches here on YouTube so that she could distribute those with her friend Luba to Ukrainian families who really needed that. Now in addition to that, there's also been a lot of families who were really heavily impacted by the recent hurricanes that came through and hit Florida. In fact, there was an entire community in Arcadia, Florida that was just devastated. Homes totally gone. People lost everything, their homes, their belongings and everything. So I sent 50 dresses down to people living in Florida who needed clothing for their children. I was so happy to be able to answer these two particular needs with your help because really you all made these amazing dresses that were donated. So, I mean, I couldn't thank you enough. I really could not. Thank you. So that means that the rest of the dresses that were here were able to move on to the Maryland Dress a Girl Around the World Ambassador, who's Marissa, and she's the ambassador who's most local to me. And so she got a good number of dresses. In fact, she got 1,468 dresses. And trust me, every single one of those dresses are going to move, but more on that in a second. So while my husband and I packed up all of these dresses into the truck and played a little bit of Tetris, I was really kind of hoping in the back of my mind that Marissa was gonna have a big enough vehicle to be able to get these back to her home. Because I was driving up to Baltimore, so it was about an hour and a half. Actually, it's north of Baltimore. Um, so an hour and a half away to meet up with her and I was not planning on bringing these dresses back. They've got new homes to go to. And thank goodness that Marissa's daughter was there to help us transfer the boxes from one vehicle to the other because it was a lot of boxes. Tons of them, in fact, tons. But with all of that being said, here's a little message from Marissa to you. Hi everyone, I wanted to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. You guys did an amazing job this year. I really appreciate all the beautiful dresses that you've sewn. I just wanted you to know that I am completely committed to uh, making sure that these dresses get into the hands of the girls as soon as possible. I can tell you that um, even in just the next couple weeks, I'm gonna be sending several to Guatemala, several hundred to Guatemala. And with that trip, um, that's going to bring the total for 2022 to over 2,000 dresses distributed. So I wanted you to know that every single dress counts and I really appreciate it. Happy sewing!
So now that all of the dresses are out of my hands and a step closer to their forever families, I think it's time that we actually sit down and write a check out to Hope for Women International for Dress a Girl Around the World. So I had told you all that in order to raise money to cover the expenses for this month-long event, I was selling the um, Dress a Girl Around the World labels to help cover that with any additional proceeds going to Hope for Women International, which runs Dress a Girl Around the World. And you all... You might be surprised at how many labels were actually sold. So looking at my spreadsheet here, 1,015 labels were actually purchased from me for this event. In addition to the label sales, some of you actually sent additional monetary donations my way to help with the cost of the event. And that totaled $453. So when I add both of those items up, the total was $859. Now, backing out the expenses for the international shipping, Florida shipping, and the round trips that I made to both the in-person sewing event, dropping off the dresses and supplies, the total left over is $598. So that means that we have a $600 check that needs to go to Dress a Girl Around the World. So while I'm writing the $600 donation check for Dress a Girl Around the World, I can't help but to reflect on the amazing things that we were all able to accomplish this September. I mean, we brought in over 2,300 dresses for little girls that really do need them. And then in addition to that, we have a $600 donation. And I really do believe that this donation is going to go a long way towards the program itself. I'm also really grateful for those of you who felt like you could share your personal stories with me and the reason why you sewed, um, whether it was to help you in your mental state or if it was to honor someone who had passed, which was the case for many people. Um, thinking about how we all honor our loved ones in any shape or form while we're doing good deeds like this, well, it just adds a whole other level of loving energy out there and really, <laughs> We couldn't have enough of that in this day and age. I never imagined that we would have made such a big impact for Project Dress a Girl 2022. And I'll tell you what, I can't wait for next September to come. So grab your friends because next September is going to be a blast. If you missed the final number, you can catch that video right over here. And you all, it's time for me to go place this in the mailbox. So I hope that you all have an amazing day. Bye.